Welcome to Concept Learn. So we understood uh, what is uh, what is total physical product, marginal physical product, and average physical product. And we have taken an example. We plotted it on a graph. We understood how the different uh, of total product AP, MP changes according to the change in the input factor. Now we'll understand relationship at la and TP ki MP ki AP ki MP ki relationship ela on the we'll understand to this. Okay. So as uh, some factors are fixed, now we change the input factor zero, let it be labor or uh, let it be another input factor. Suppose now the input varies, how the total product is changing. We have understood that. But now how the marginal physical product is in relation with this total physical product, we'll understand. And the marginal physical product change out on there, how the total product is changing. We'll understand the relationship. Now, here what is marginal physical product? For every increase in the input or for every change in the input, how the output is changing is known as the marginal physical product that is dy by dx. Now, suppose that is change in output to the change in input. Now, suppose MPP is increasing. Now, when the MPP is increasing, TPP increases at the increasing rate. Now, we can understand here, See, when the MPP is increasing, TPP increases at the increasing rate. But when MPP is decreasing, TPP still increases. 23, 26, 28, 29. It is still increasing, but at the rate of decreasing or declining rate, diminishing rate. When the MPP is increasing, TPP increases at the increasing rate. When the MPP is decreasing, TPP still increases, but at the rate of diminishing rate. So, here this is known as the inflection point. So, what is inflection point? Inflection point is a point where the TPP and a graph are concave, convex means concave ki shift out to me. So, this is known as the inflection point. When we can find the inflection point ante, when MPP is maximum, we find the inflection point. Inflection point is a point where TPP converts from convex to the concave. Okay, from uh, increasing rate to the decreasing rate is known as the inflection point. Now, we'll understand when MPP is 0, what happens? When MPP is 0, TPP is maximum. When MPP becomes negative, so when MPP becomes negative, what happens to TPP? It starts declining. So, it decreases. So, when MPP is increasing, it increases at the increasing rate. When MPP is declining, it still increases at the rate of diminishing rate and when MPP is 0, TPP is maximum and when MPP decreases, TPP also decreases. So, the slope of TPP is nothing but MPP. Slope of TPP is reflected in MPP. Okay. So, slope of TPP is MPP. Now, we will understand how MPP and APP are related. So, when MPP is increasing and when MPP is greater than APP, APP increases. Okay. When MPP is less than APP, APP starts declining. When we see here, MPP 3 is greater than 2.5, 4 is greater than 3, 5 is greater than 3.5. Until unless MPP is greater than APP, APP is increases. APP increases. When MPP is less than APP, APP decreases. Different stages of production function we will understand in the later slides. So, these are increasing returns. These are constant returns, decreasing returns and negative returns. These are all the important points to be noted. Okay. When MPP is increasing, these are the increasing returns. When MPP is constant, we find constant returns. When MPP is decreasing, we find decreasing returns correspondingly. Okay. <laughs>